So just a quick one here to answer some of those common questions I have been getting. So people have been asking me, does it run dual, dual channel RAM? Yes, it does. I will just quickly show you on the memory. That's the speed there. That's dual channel and it's running in the correct speed. And RAM usage at the moment, well, I've almost used up the full four gigabytes, but I do have Counter-Strike running in the background. And why I'm running that is because I have been looking at the thermals. So the thermals have been actually really good so far. I've done a lot of benchmarks, which I'll run through shortly. And you'll see here that it hasn't gone past 71 degrees, which is really good. Now, I've seen these Core M's get up to 95 to 85. Uh, the Cube i7 book got up to, yeah, over 90 when gaming, so it got scorching hot. So here are the benchmarks I have run on it. So Geekbench 3. It's a really good score. Not bad at all. And here's the iStorm 1.2. Another excellent score. Cloudgate and the iStorm Extreme that you saw before. Now I've done nothing special, all I have done is disabled the Intel power saving settings. So if I just show you those very quickly, those are the settings I always disable. If you want maximum performance for gaming, it's something you need to do. So under battery here, you can see they have a lot of options here. So you've got extended battery life for gaming, enabling that clocks it right down just kills the, the GPU power and display power saving. I could keep that enabled, but I have disabled that one as well. Now, battery life seems to be as expected. It's nothing near what they claim. So they claimed 11 hours, 11 and a half hours. Now, you'd have to be looping, I think, just a VGA video with 0% screen brightness and flight mode on to get that kind of figure there. So I have installed battery bar. And you'll see here that it's giving me run times with my current about 25% brightness of four and a half hours. Now, I've been doing heavy use at the moment. So if you're doing just one or two websites or a few tabs in Chrome, then you're looking around about five and a half to six hours maximum. Now, if you game, I'd say gaming nonstop, you're gonna chew through the battery with a high screen brightness, probably in about three and a half hours, or maybe even less. And another usage scenario, watching videos or a 1080p video, something like that, I think you might be able to get about seven hours then if you have the screen brightness again about 25% and if you also probably enable flight mode would definitely help. So battery life is disappointing, but they have been disappointing on all core ARMs I have tested, including the Surface Pro 4 M3. So another couple of things also is the SSD speed. Now when I did retest this and I got a lot better speed, that's more like it. This is a, in a set of three speeds, around maximum set of three speeds, so not bad at all. Uh, the 4K write speed went right up there and 4K reads was a little bit lower this time around. I don't know what happened there, but it could have been because the first time I tested it, something was going on in the background, perhaps Windows Update shouldn't have been happening, but anyway. So before I finish this movie, there's just been a few other things that people said. So the BIOS, that is completely locked down. You cannot tweak any settings there at all whatsoever. Um, I haven't seen any thermal throttling, again, because of the temperatures. Someone asked me if there's thermal throttling. No, because you see there it hasn't gone past 71 degrees. So I'll quickly show you some gaming. Someone asked about gaming. I'll have a complete video, lots of videos probably on gaming. But first up is just a quick look at Counter-Strike. Global Defense. So I'm running the Dust2 map against some bots here just to get an idea. This was basically just to heat up the GPU, heat up the CPU, see how hot it's going to get. And you're getting around 60 frames per second here with, with just the bots. Now, I've got the screen in a funny angle here because the screen being glass is just reflecting like crazy. It's reflecting my whole office. You can see everything, my tripod, my, my setup, books in the bookshelf behind. So I have to use this funny angle. So we'll have a proper gaming test coming up, but so far this seems pretty good. Now I have noticed that after a while the clocks tend to drop right down on the GPU and it runs into some power limiting and that's probably what Xiaomi is using to stop it going over 70 degrees. So they're not triggering any thermal throttling, but it is throttling similar like that because it's clocking it down to probably keep the temperatures down. Now using Intel XTU, you might be able to override some of those things. You might be able to increase the actual power limits there. So the other thing too was the Type-C hub. It does support display out and charging all at the same time. So we do actually have two ports. So we've got the USB 3 port there, and then you can use an adapter. So if you can pick up an adapter there for Type-C or just get a hub like this one, 
then you've got plenty of ports there to use. So I don't see that as being too much of a con there, but it would be nice, of course, to have another display port because we do have HDMI out here, sorry, another port, but we can have HDMI, HDMI, so we, it can actually run three displays at the same time. And you can even get an adapter like this one right here. So this is just your standard type C to HDMI out. That will work just fine. So that was just a quick update. I will be back with more on this. I'll have some a full review that I'm working towards, but I'll do some gaming test. I might actually test out as well Linux Mint that someone's asked me about and any other things there. So if you've got any questions, pop them down in the comments and I'll see if I can fill some of those requests. Now I can't test out every single game because I will literally be with this particular notebook here for a month or so if I did that. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you back in the channel soon.